A Memphis teacher known for his creative viral video handshaking with students. Tonight tells Fox 13 he beat COVID-19, but that fight is not over. Fox 13's Amisha Ramsey spoke with a Hickory Hill elementary teacher who opened up about the mental toll the coronavirus has had on him. You know, Amisha, not only does he love those kids and they love him back, he is just generally a good guy. He is, and he has a positive. He has a positive message to send out to people. He says when he learned that he tested positive for COVID-19, he says he didn't know if he would survive it, and he, that's when he had to rely and live by the words, inspirational words that he would share with his students. This is David Jamison about five weeks ago. The test results came back positive. So on that uh, day, you know, I. Began to panic. A staggering difference from this video of Jamison shaking hands with students at Hickory Ridge Elementary that went viral. I love those kids. Those kids are like family. We built uh, relationships that are amazing. The fifth grade English teacher says life changed when he tested positive for COVID-19 at the end of March. He describes the mental beating he experienced after doctors also diagnosed him with anxiety and depression. Seeing people fall like flies and it's easy to get in that your, your, your own mindset thinking hey what if this happens to me Jamison says he often felt like he wouldn't live to see another day you no know, felt like I just just stopped breathing and I couldn't do anything but scream I remember vividly just screaming oh. to get through coronavirus anxiety and depression Jamison says he relied on his faith and words of aspiration he recite with students to calm worries. I'm strong, I'm confident, I'm happy, I'm amazing, I'm great. Those are the same words that I, in return, I had to give myself. So I want to say to anybody at this time, you know, it's a, you know, it's a period of a transition, you know, it's a time of reset, but it's also a time for us to get to know who we are. Well, of course, we will continue to follow his recovery, and you can follow him, too, in this process. He says you can follow him on Instagram. His handle is at the Dope Educator. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Amisha Ramsey, Fox 13 News.